Welcome to Fortune Cookies Tarot. This is Taste of Tarot. We're learning tarot cards. So we're going to go through the wands real quick. We're going to do a flip through. Wands are fire, representing spring and the east. So when we get the uh, ace of wands, this is spark of an idea, um, inspiration. This is doing passions. Sometimes we can get artwork in this one. Um, sometimes artwork will be in the pentacles. It depends. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I get different things for different suits, but um, this is having some amazing ideas and enterprise. Two of Wands. This is thinking about where to go. Moving forward, having the world in your hand. Always look at the pictures. Uh, this is another one that I like to point out for the imagery. This, uh, the guy clad in red, red is always power. Um, we see it a lot in the wand cards. He is standing from a uh, position of uh, loftiness. He is in a strong tower. You can see he's on the uh, crenellated turret there, or crenellated um, top there. And uh, he's standing firm, tall, he's not bent over. His wands are firmly planted in the ground, uh, or in the in the uh, the stone and he's looking out to the future he's looking for what he can do um, this is a travel card we do see this a lot when um, there's travel coming it's also a teaching card as per my notes there um, but this is you know thinking about the future three of wands this is our uh, admiral who has already sent out his fleet if you look nice and close I hope you can see that oh yeah there you go there's our little ships out there so he's done everything that he can in terms of thinking and he has sent those ships out and now he just has to wait um, we'll talk a little bit about placement in another video um, whether the suits are held uh, planted or wielded or hung there's various uh, various things you can consider with that Four card, this is always our happy family card. Uh, this is our wedding card. Um, you know, there's four corners to a house. There's four corners to a chuppah. That is a chuppah, and this is a wedding. This is a good card to get. Um, this is a very happy card, uh, inspirational card. You know, you can, it's a feel-good card. Fives, this is either conflict or cooperation, um, constructive cooperation, working together on problem solving. Um, you know, you can see the wands are up in the air, so there's a lot, This remember it's a fire energy, so the wands are flapping all over the place, so the energy's going all over the place. It's it's a, a pivotal point of the, uh, the suit, so, you know, this is a problem solving or conflict uh, period. Six, this is Valor. Congratulations, you've done it. This is a guy coming back from, from war. Um, the war may or may not be over, but he has done well and he is being um, lauded by his people and by the people around him. Um, he's carrying his power, so uh, things are great, and he is transmitting that to the others in the background. As you can see, they are holding their own wand, so um, yay! Congratulations to all. Seven, this is another pivotal point. Um, this is conflicting power. You can see he's holding the wands and then there are wands ahead of him. So there are uh, powers that be in front of him, um, maybe outnumbered, maybe uh, you know some complicated um, things that he has to pass through, but uh, he is standing his ground and trying to maintain his disposition. Sorry for my computer making noises. Eight in my classes, this is always a fun card because everyone goes, I just have sticks. <laughs> Most decks have this. With the eight of wands, I want you to remember these are messages, these are things that are happening, but this is speed, okay? We're gonna go through the numbers in another video, but this is speed. This is the speed of things to come. Um, you know, again, it's, it's messages. You can have things happening. Um, very neat. Nine of wands. This is our warrior after the battle. He's holding back. He's got all of his power behind him. He is wounded. Look, he's got bandages on his head. 
Um, but he's holding fast and he is uh, reviewing what has done, what has been done, and um, and and where he can go next. Pivotal point. Ten burdens, doing too much, taking on too much, struggling. You can see the picture is very, very clear. What is in that card? Page of Wands is rebuilding. This is someone who has an idea or is re revising an idea. Our, um, we have a fire energy with the wands. We have an earth energy with the page. So this is a fire earth energy. Knight. So the, again, look at our speed of our horse. Very, very different from the pentacles. Our horse is up in the air. He is moving along. And we do have those fire salamanders on his uh, tunic, which we, we do see that through the other cards as well. Um, there's a lot of salamanders in the, um, the wand suit. So uh, he is quest, he's a fire, fire energy, and he's questing for passion. He is uh, seeking and flexing energy from passion, from doing. This is a doer, so get out of his way or you're going to get run over by his horse. And here is our Queen of Wands. Wands are fire energy. The queen is a water energy. Uh, she is nurturing passions. This is doing things to uh, enjoy the passions, to exacerbate passions. Um, again, this, is, this suit is very sexual. Um, I said that earlier, so, you know, this can be, um, you know, some sexual passion there. Sorry if anyone gets uncomfortable with that. But uh, she is, you know, infusing that uh, fiery energy into whatever is going on. And then we have our king of wands. Kings, again, are air energy, and the wands are fire energy so we've got fire fire and air energy in here which is really whooping it up those of you that know anything about fire you add some air to it and you can get a raging storm but when we've got the the king is in control of that he's the harbinger of passions and creation and great things when we get him upside down then things can go a little bit crazy and it can be um, a forest fire but Upright, this is the guy who's in control. This is the guy who's making things happen, okay? And again, we have those salamanders on his robe. If you guys look, those are salamanders. And there's one down there on his feet. Oh, so cute. So that is our suit of wands. Let's move on.